last paradise on earth. That is what they call it. They say we're blessed to live in paradise. But is it still paradise? We are the descendants of the first Pacific seafarers. The ocean runs in our veins. It's in our blood and it's an important wellspring of life, generating much of the oxygen we breathe and regulating our climate. The ocean provides us with a seemingly endless supply of diverse and protein-rich foods and serves as a foundation for much of the region's economy. Have we forgotten that we are its guardians? Both the ocean and the people of the Pacific are facing grave danger from plastic pollution. Can we not see the danger? Every year in the Pacific, millions of tons of plastics are disposed of and they end up in our rivers and the ocean. It takes many hundreds of years for plastics to decompose breaking up into smaller and smaller pieces. The smallest pieces are called microplastics, and these are increasingly being eaten by marine animals. Among these animals are fishes, an important source of protein for people living in the Pacific Islands. Now here's a thought. Did you know you might be eating microplastics every time you have fish for a meal? You may not be able to see it, but it's there. I don't want to eat plastic. Nobody wants to eat plastic. To stop eating plastics, we need to understand how these end up in the ocean to begin with. Every time we throw away a piece of plastic, it usually ends up in the ocean. That's because we live on very small islands surrounded by a vast ocean. Fish and other marine animals eat the plastics. We eat the fish, and that is how it ends up on our food plates. While many Pacific Island countries have introduced plastic bans, we have so much plastic in our lives that laws to ban plastics while an extremely important action are not enough. We need to change our behavior around plastics and what we do with plastics after using it. The simplest step we can take is to reduce how much plastic we use to begin with. We have a choice. When we go to the market, we don't always have to buy our food packed in a plastic bag. But if we do, we can reuse plastic bags again and again. We can say, no, I don't need a plastic bag. I have my own. And we take that bag with us everywhere again and again. Or we can use other alternatives that may be available. Stores often have empty cardboard boxes that can be used to carry your shopping. Or we can make a cloth bag that can be reused. And when a plastic bag becomes torn, we can dispose of it in a place designated for plastics recycling, or at least we can put it in a rubbish bin. Don't throw it in our backyard, in a river, on the road, or on a beach by the ocean, because the plastics we throw away in the wrong places may circle back to us or our children on our dinner plates when we eat fish in the future. If we see litter on the ground, we can pick it up and throw it in the closest bin. 
If we see someone throwing rubbish on the ground, whether a friend or a stranger, ask them, please, refrain from doing this. Breaking a bad habit takes time and encouragement. To protect our ocean and to keep plastics off our dinner plates, we have to do the best we can. Whoever we are, wherever we are, regardless of age, gender or religion, there is always something we can do as custodians of our ocean. No matter how small it is, collectively it can make a big difference. Do it for our world, do it for our children. Let's make the right choice. It's our paradise, it's our future.